we are talking about leveling up in terms of consciousness. Okay. Courage is a level of consciousness. It's after we kind of get neutral, right? Getting yourself to be neutral and then move up to the next level. It's courage. All right. It's courage. Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're doing great today. This is a reading for you. Let's see what messages we pick up on, what guidance comes in today. Welcome to January 21st, Aquarius season. I did a reading about Aquarius season the other day. I'll put a little card here so you can access it if you haven't seen it. All right, let's see where we go. Deep breath, everybody. Deep breath. All right. All right. Thank you for your notes and your comments about the dream class. That is back by popular demand. If you want to jump in and figure out what your dreams mean. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the waking in the middle of the night too. I think that's something that a lot of us are experiencing a lot of um, wild energies lately. And um, if you're having that, I am gonna be working on some videos that may be helpful, okay, for the middle of the night kind of anxiety or anything like that. I'll be working on those videos, so you'll see them soon. I'll let you know when I post them. All right, um, air, fire, earth, water today. Next week, I will do the Februarys. You'll see that starting at the end of the week. Out of the mess comes elegant order. Thank God. this card showed up. I've been waiting for you to show up, Mr. Number 20. It's January 20th as I'm doing this reading. Um, I am a galactic star seed blooming. Some of you are pushing up through the earth, the universe. Some of you are pushing up through the earth and, you know, you're birthing a new self. So, um, you know, I mean, any of you who have had children know that, um, there's a transition time between being pregnant and being and having the baby in front of you. <laughs> and <laughs> I think that's what we're going through right now. It's a little bit of a birthing season. Um, so that's what's coming through for me right now. And so it can be quite messy. And what is coming out of that is something so beautiful and new and elegant and lovely. And so it's kind of like, you know, anchor yourself, okay? If you're having these nighttime anxieties, I'm definitely feeling that, nighttime anxieties. If you need to anchor yourself, please do, okay? I'll be helping you with that very soon. Um, the Emperor is underneath, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, there it is, Four of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Strength, and the Nine of Pentacles card. Oh, that's beautiful. So very soon, I mean, you're showing up here as the Queen of Pentacles. Ground yourself, okay? Take care of yourself. A little more self-care is necessary. A little more self-care is necessary than what you're doing right now. Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, and the Temperance Energy. <clears throat> I see all of the fire signs here. Aries, Leo, Sag. And it's definitely feeling like right now, just trying to protect yourself, uh, trying to deal with this overnight anxiety, trying to deal with this mess, whatever it is, whatever's going on for you, um, it is okay to protect yourself. I feel like some of you might not be doing that. If you're, if you're feeling in the middle of the night like you're being psychically attacked or anything like that, it doesn't even have to be that. It can just be the anxiety, kind of like the monkey mind going on. Um, on our Wednesday group, I did a little meditation. Um, and you know, one of my things is I do have a uh, monkey mind quite a bit. You know, I have a lot of ideas. I have a lot, I have a lot of air energy, a lot of fire energy. So I have a lot of ideas. And so, woo, they go swirling around and then it's like, uh, like you get lost in it and twisted in it. I feel like that's what's happening right now. What's going to be happening though is a burst of self-confidence, um, a message that you're going in the right direction, okay? A message is coming in that you're going in the right direction. 
And I feel like there might need to be some kind of partner uh, in order to help you move forward. So Three of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Temperance energy. Um, there's definitely uh, fire energy here for me. Queen of Pentacles is earth energy. So the anchoring and the ambition, the, the groundedness, um, some of you may be worried about money or worried about your future or something like that. And I'm gonna clarify the Nine of Swords, but it is time to take action very soon. The, the Emperor coming up underneath is the definitive action card. We've got Sagittarius and Aries energy. We've got Leo energy here in the middle. And so this makes me feel good. I do feel like there might be a fire sign or an earth energy coming in. I will dive into those signs in the extended read. Um, but for now, I, I'm just feeling like you could either be attracting someone in who is going to help you immensely. Someone who feels grounded, someone who is loving, someone who is kind and generous. Um, all it takes is one kind word, really, to lift someone else out of an anxious spiral, okay? So you could be that for somebody else. Somebody else could be that for you. And you're really, um, you know, going through a birthing experience right now. So it's okay. I just want you to know my mantra and, you know, listen, easy for me to say, <laughs> but I have those anxiety times too. And so what happens, what I do when that happens is... I try to ground myself, I do some breathing, and we talked about that yesterday in the Wednesday group, or you know, the other day in the Wednesday group, and my mantra is all is well. Because nothing good comes of the swirlies, okay? Nothing productive comes of that. It's fear ginning up, am I doing the right thing? Do I know where I'm going? What's happening for me? Oh, la 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 la, right? And it's, it's nothing good comes from those swirlies. A veteran of the swirlies right here okay right here and the antidote to that is to know you're not alone number one you're never alone okay you're never alone just ask for help reach out and ask for help some of you are trying to do it all yourself right some of you are like nope not letting anybody else in nope not gonna ask anybody for help not gonna do that and then you just continue to spiral continue to spiral so the antidote here is ground yourself, do some self-care, it's okay, um, it's okay, it's okay. And when you do that, there's a certain calm that comes over. I feel like this person uh, that's coming in is someone who can really help you move forward. Someone who is powerful energy in and of themselves. Um, there, this can be a love partner or this can be someone who is very loving all right and confident and fiery or has overcome this card of strength is the card of courage and on the vibrational um um chart that um oh i wish i could remember his name right now but i'll, I'll get it for you we are talking about leveling up in terms of consciousness okay courage is a level of consciousness it's after we kind of get neutral, right? Getting yourself to be neutral and then move up to the next level. It's courage, all right? It's courage. Dr. David Hawkins. <laughs> I did not want to let that video, this video go by without me telling you his name. Dr. David Hawkins. Um, we're going to talk about this in the Spiritual Blueprint class about the level of frequency, the frequency of your feelings, okay? When you're feeling fear and anxiety and shame and guilt, and the, all of those are very low vibrational feelings. Um, you move up into a level of neutrality. And then 200 frequency, at, two, at the 200 frequency, we finally move into courage, okay? So you get from fear through that neutrality. So your goal is to sort of anchor yourself, all is well, all is well, and bring about a level of um, nothingness. It feels a little bit like nothingness. At least it feels like you can do or be or just, you know, be at rest, right? At that level, your feelings are neutral. The next level is courage. And then from up there, going up from there, up into the 400s and 500 frequency level, 
those are the real powerful. That's where we get to love and on and, and compassion and all of those feelings. And when you understand that, when you realize that the constant churning of, um, of anxiety and things like that is just, you know, bringing you into the, it just breeds more of it. So the goal here is to kind of anchor yourself, queen of pentacles, anchor yourself, get yourself solidly neutral. Okay. And when you finally come out of this anxious area, you know, this four of pentacles, it's like, okay, well then are you choosing to, um, move into courage? Courage sometimes is asking for help. Courage is, you know, not being alone and, and, and stating your feelings and saying what, what's going on with you and, and all of that. You'd be surprised at how compassionate people are. Um, you guys are all in that place of being helpers and being nurturers and all of that. And, you know, you feel that too. You can, you know, nurture yourself codependently right into a state of lower frequency. So we can't let that happen. All right. We can't let that happen. So this feels to me like some of you may need to reach out for help. Okay. Uh, some of you may be feeling these overnight kind of uh, feelings and uh, you might need to reach out for help. There is somebody in your life coming into your life who is going to bring their own frequency of courage. And it's it's not like fake it till you make it. I don't really feel like that. I mean, I, I think there's plenty of people who talk about that. But I think showing up on days when you have anxiety, days when you feel depressed, days when you feel like nothing's going your way, um, when the world is against you or something like that, showing up in a position of, and I said this the other day about giving it up to God and, and, and asking for assistance and ask the ask right now is ask for the people to come across your path who are going to be the most helpful to you, the most positive, because we can only do really so much by ourselves. You are super powerful. Don't get me wrong here. But if you do have situations where you get stuck in those spirals and things like that, Sometimes we need uh, a courage buddy, or sometimes we need somebody who is not an accountability buddy right now, but this, this is a level of accountability that is about feeling oriented. This is about, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm birthing a new self here. I'm birthing and I do need a midwife. Call the midwife. <laughs> so this person is, um, I wouldn't call them accountability buddy, but I would call them somebody who is helping you birth your new self. Okay. And I do feel like this person is going to be very important. This person could be somebody who helps you birth your business, helps you birth your um, counseling practice, helps you birth, you know, your spiritual gifts and what you're here to do. I know I'm I'm a birthing coach for a lot of you. We do this on the Thursday lives and the and the Wednesday lives. We I do a lot of this work with you guys in that setting and it does seem to me that sometimes all it takes is a kind word to get you out of the spiral. Sometimes that's all it takes. And so I am here to offer that to you. I am here to say you guys as spiritual teachers and healers and guides and shamans and mystics and protectors and lovers and healers and all of that. We are all connected. And when you need the strength, you can borrow it. You can borrow it from me. You can borrow it from someone who is a courage buddy here. You can borrow it. And if that gets you to the level of neutrality so that you can stabilize yourself and get yourself to the place of the next level, which is courage, and then up and up and up we go. Okay. Don't suffer alone. It's not necessary. It doesn't even need to be an outside person. Your spirit guides are with you all the time. God is with you all the time. They're always there. You just need to ask for help. Okay, so as you birth this new person that you're bringing into the universe, the universe wants to co-conspire with you to birth this new person. Okay, the universe energy here is very powerful. Let me read you this. Um, let me read you this. Uh, let's see, this is a one card, isn't it? Yeah, that's not it. 
<laughs> yeah, that's not it, Mary Jo. <laughs> All right, the universe, the attributes are all oneness, source, divine, destiny, evolutionary love, laughter. The universe is designed to evolve all love, all life through love, light, and a lot of laughter. The universe is the source of all, the fullness of everything, out of the seeming null of nothing. The universe is all-knowing, but with an elevated view. Trust there is a perfect order within everything and anything you are experiencing from this limited aspect. The universe has a hilarious sense of humor to make sure you don't take life too seriously because it's only life after all. So this is kind of like saying to you that the birthing of the new you can feel a little bit big, okay? Can feel a little bit challenging, can feel a little bit overwhelming. And when that happens, just know that you are loved more than you know. You are guided more than you know. And even if you need a laugh, right? If you need a laugh and you watch a video that makes you laugh or takes you out of yourself, sometimes helping others. But I feel like this is about depletion from helping others, from being there for other people, from being the one who everybody comes to to answer problems. I feel like that, right? Yeah, I get it. Get it. So my way of dealing with this, I'll give you my own little system. And if you're watching this and you're feeling anxious and whatever, I hope this helps for you. So get yourself grounded and just do some deep breathing. I did this on the Wednesday, just in and out. In for two, out for four. All is well. All is well. In comes the courage. Out goes the anxiety. In comes the help. Out goes the anxiety. And when you do that, <laughs> Charlie wakes up. <laughs> when you do that, Charlie wakes up. So for some of you, you will be having a courage buddy come in. You'll be having someone who's helpful to you. Uh, I am going to look at uh, Sagittarius, Leo, and, uh, and Aries, and also um, the earth signs in the extended. Whew, feel nice and grounded now, do you? All right, so let's take a look. We'll go deeper. I, before we go here, I do want to clarify a couple things. I want to clarify this Nine of Swords. I want to clarify the Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands, Sun, High Priestess, and the Page of Wands. Some of you have a really heavy burden. Some of you have a really heavy burden. And you might be blocking your spirit guides. You might be blocking this connection. And... What is going to help you be inspiring and inspired is to just really let go. Just become the sun. Just be in this anchored space. Be in the space that you are connecting to your guides. That is what's going to help right now. I do like the fact that there's a sort of, an, of a meditation person here or someone who's coming into your life. I feel like you might be so much in this space that you might be blocking them a little bit so we'll look at that in the extended okay we'll look at that in the extended all right let's see where we go link is below if you want to continue on with me if this was helpful to you or if this is your reading i'll see you over there